my name is Carla Penderock. I'm the Director of Contributor Relations at Paths to Understanding. Today, I'd like to talk to you about self-care. Why is self-care important for us as allies for social justice? In my own exploration of self-care, I've noticed three ways in which taking care of myself impacts how I show up for others. Firstly, being an ally to members of our community who are being harmed by injustice and prejudice that's challenging work. We're going to feel tired and overwhelmed at times. That's unavoidable. So we need self-care to ensure that we don't burn out so that we can sustain our energy and stay engaged in this work in the long run. Secondly, being an ally means having hard conversations with people we disagree with. We're going to feel irritated, confused, even angry at times. Self-care can help us cultivate the inner calm and resilience that allows us to have these conversations in the most respectful and helpful way possible. And thirdly, becoming an authentic ally also involves hard conversations with ourselves, investigating our own biases, recognizing we've fallen short of being authentic allies in the past. This is where self-care can help us develop the compassion that enables us to forgive ourselves, take responsibility and grow instead of becoming paralyzed by feelings like shame or blame. The psychologist Carl Rogers described this transformative power of self-compassion perfectly when he said, the curious paradox is that when I accept myself just as I am, then I can change. So as you prepare to join us on the journey of becoming authentic allies, take a little time to reflect on how you take care of yourself, body, mind, and spirit. What do you do on an average day to replenish your energy? How do you make sure you don't get stuck when the going gets tough? And what helps you feel like your best self? If you consider yourself to be part of a wisdom tradition, Maybe there's a particular spiritual practice that helps you cultivate self-awareness and self-care. We'll dive deeper into all of this in the first session of our Authentic Allyship course. In the meantime, if you've registered for the course, you can discover additional resources and get some inspiration in the course materials section of the PATHS network. And I look forward to meeting you in the course and exploring this topic together.